How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This video is all about the Arty Station Concert Gated Hobby Workstation. I cannot express how excited I am that something like this is finally on the market for all of us, as well as how grateful I am that I was able to partner up with Arty Station to bring you this review. Now, as you can see here, there are four very large boxes in front of me, each of those containing all the pieces and parts for the concert. To give you a little bit of perspective, all four of these boxes weigh in at just over 56 pounds. So there is a lot of material in here. And before I talk about the reasons why I decided to partner with Arty Station for my workstation needs, let's just go back in time real quick so I can talk about what I was using before and the reasons why I made the switch. So if you've been following me for any amount of time now, you know that my backdrop is always this gray brick wall in these five hobby zone modules. I purchased these five different modules directly from hobby zone and after shipping it came out to just under $90 US. Now the five racks that I ended up getting was the large and small universal trays, the large paint rack that carries 20 Tamiya jars or also 20 Mr. Color jars, the sprue organizer, and then the generic cubby. Now when I purchased these I wasn't necessarily new to the hobby, but I was new to how many different tools and what items I was using. And over the years, these modules have definitely changed in what they carry. This used to be a rack just for Tamiya. Now I really don't paint with Tamiya. I go ahead and I use Mr. Color. I never used this for sprues. I actually ended up using that for my water slide decals. It's a great organizer for that, along with Aurora Film. I used to just use this for splash paints. Now I carry a lot of my SMS, so on and so forth. And I don't want this video to seem like I hate Hobby Zone. Yes, this is 100% about Artie Station, and we're going to get into that. But I want to make it clear why I'm choosing Artie Station over Hobby Zone. And realistically, the reason is Hobby Zone no longer meets my needs as a modeler. I want to grow and I want to get a larger workstation. And the reason being is, I'm actually moving and I'm finally going to have my own hobby room and I want it to be a nicer area than just this unfinished basement that I've been in for the past five years and I want my space to be organized and I want to have all my tools in one place. Hobby Zone really doesn't allow me to do that because it's going to force me to span out wider or wrap around. Now, I don't like the wraparound idea. I also don't like that I need to purchase certain pieces just to elevate other pieces where all of these aren't really stackable on top of each other. Now, I recognize that Arty Station also has larger stations, and that's fine. But what they do have that Hobby Zone 100% doesn't have is a closable, self-contained system. And I've been waiting for something like that to come on the market. I have a young daughter. She's definitely interested in everything I do, and I don't want to have paint and things just scattered around, even if it's open here. I like the idea of having something that can close up, be secured, and when I walk away from my hobby room and come back in, it's organized for anyone who's going to visit, see my builds. It's not just out in the open, and that was really a personal choice. Also, financially, the Arty Station, and we'll talk about that when I go in the unboxing, the price point is extremely comparable to then purchasing a whole bunch of individually uh, marketed pieces. And for some people, that might work for you. For me, I want to go ahead and buy something that's already built to key that still gives me options. And what I'm saying is these kits here are specific to just this one station. Now, I could be wrong, but I don't believe that Hobby Zone sells just shelves to switch out. I know that Artie Station does, and it's built to where I can swap this out and put in a different paint rack based on my current needs. And it's actually very inexpensive to change those out. And I also want to talk about material. We're talking about several hundred dollars here to organize the workstation. This is MDF. MDF stands for Medium Density Fiberboard. And it's not a bad material, but it's also not the sturdiest or greatest material. Let's just be honest. It's MDF, right? It's very useful but it's not the greatest of materials. This here is standard MDF, right? You could see that it's just raw MDF. And I went ahead and you put the magnets in and you can use wood glue as I did to keep it sturdy, but it is thin. When I talk about quality and the quality of Artie Station, let me go ahead and just show you a piece from 
the concert. Now this, if you look closely, is actually very shiny. And the reason being is that this is double coated MDF. There's actually a protective layer here that gives you this super smooth finish that also protects the layer of the MDF. Also, look at the thickness here. This is much beefier than everything that I currently own. This is going to last over time. This is going to hold up well. It's also going to be easy to clean and maintain because of this sturdier build and the extra care and quality that they put in. Every piece is like this. Yes, there's going to be raw spots, and that's anywhere that other pieces connect, but this double-coated is you're getting more for your value. You're getting more bang for your buck. You're getting a more sturdy and I believe better craftsmanship out of the Artie Station. So like I said, I'm not throwing any hate at Hobby Zone, but I've definitely made the decision to move forward, no longer use these Hobby Zone workstations and work primarily with my new partner, Artie Station. So let's go ahead and open up those boxes. All right, now I'm sure you are extremely curious as to what's inside these boxes. Spoiler alert, there's MDF and a couple bolts and screws, but something that you may not know is every Artie station comes with a cash back bonus. The way that works is within 15 days of your purchase for whatever product you have, you can actually post a review on that product um, showing more than three photos, it says, and following these instructions and they can actually give you a cash back bonus of five percent and sometimes more depending on how your review goes and, and what products you use so i think that's a really cool bonus that a lot of companies aren't doing which makes Artie station pretty interesting they do care about what you think of these products also they have a warranty here if anything you order comes damaged reach out to them and you can see here it says 100% free reshipping service of any kind for damage. So again, this is high quality MDF. I'm going to show you more of that high quality MDF, but this is coming from Korea and you don't know what's going to happen in that shipping process. You also get one manual. Um, this is actually pretty thick. And what I like about it is it follows the exact orders and similar to like a Gunpla model kit, it does have little warnings and pay attention symbols. Um, if I can find one here, it's going to tell you, for example, you know, while constructing, keep these round parts off of the edge, hang them off of the table. And they're going to tell you what type of glue to use, how to assemble it. I mean, this is kind of like building an Ikea piece of furniture, except it's a lot simpler um i've looked through it pretty pretty awesome and again it's going to tell you where not to glue and i'm really happy that these instructions are actually large and easy to follow and it's going to cover all of those parts so let me go ahead and reposition the camera and i'm going to open up this first box here all right everyone for the sake of this video we're going to call this box number one all the boxes are actually labeled exactly the same except this one was on top of the pile when i took it out of the uh, larger box they all came in and the instructions and warranty was on top just like that so again for the sake of this is box number one all the boxes again um labeled the same package the same with this padding material um lots of tissue paper i took a lot of it out just so that i'm not making too much noise for you guys but as you can see here, everything is extremely organized, extremely tight packaged. Um, even pieces where you have, for example, that white coating, they're protected. So these are going to be some of the drawer covers. Um, right here, that double coated material that we keep talking about, all of these extremely smooth surfaces. You're going to have your screws. You're going to have your nuts and bolts. You're going to have your, your washers here. Some wooden dowels and what's really good about this system as i mentioned before this is that special double coated mdf but they're actually really wise and not wasting material and causing you to actually spend more money so for this piece specifically right here you have that special coating but along these sides where it actually joins to another piece it's raw mdf and the reason for that is this special coating creates a barrier for adhesives. So they're gonna tell you straight away in the manual not to use wood glue because it won't bond to this special coating MDF. I think the only wood glue that will is Gorilla Wood glue. Instead, you can go ahead and use like a stronger CA glue 
or something else that you would feel comfortable doing. Now, you don't have to go ahead and glue this up, but again, something that's gonna have a lot of moving parts like this one, I strongly recommend taking the time out, getting a strong glue and preserving it. I will be gluing mine. And again, I just wanted to show you what everything looks like. All the boxes, again, are the same. You're gonna have multiple different pieces. When, we, when it comes to the pieces, none of them are labeled. There's no stickers that say this is part one, part two. So I highly recommend taking everything out, laying it out on your floor or your table, doing some knolling, and then allowing you to actually see all the parts. Now, if you don't know what knolling is, educate yourself. Now, I went back and forth as to whether or not I was going to open up every single box and show you every single piece. The reason I don't want to do that is, if you can see here, these pieces are going to be wrapped together. They're going to be held still. I'm going to be moving extremely soon. And I don't know that I want to put this whole thing together and move it. Again, this weighs 56 pounds and it's just going to get larger once it's built. And I don't want to destroy it, not because of the quality, but because I don't want to drop it, break it, have to fit it in another box. So because of that, I'm going to go ahead and package all of this up again. And next week or the week after that, once I move in, I'll do that as a first video inside of the new workspace. So just to give you a little bit of an idea as to the size of this, as you can see here, this does have a space for your cutting mat. Now that fits an A3 size cutting mat. This is an A3 size cutting mat. It's a cutting mat that I've always used. This slides in and this closes up. This is a very large workstation. This is going to cover and conceal everything that I need. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with this, I'm gonna go ahead and post a lot of Artie Station's pictures at the end so you can see everything that comes in it and the reason why I chose it. Again, the quality on Artie Station is gonna be next to none. They take so much time and effort making sure that every bit and piece fits perfectly and lasts longer that they're even willing to give you money back for reviewing and telling them that they weren't lying to you. Okay, and that's the reason why I'm no longer gonna be using Hobby Zone. Not only that, but Hobby Zone tends to take a while to get shipped. It's also either in stock, out of stock. Right now, you can purchase these Artie Stations directly from ArtieStation.com. You can also pre order them now from USA Gundam Store. If you do that, you can not only save 10% using Geo10 at checkout, but then you can get an extra 5% back if you use that review option that they give you. So you're saving more money. And when it comes to all the tools, all the accessories that you're gonna be putting inside, it makes more sense to invest in something that's going to last longer. So the next video, I will have all the pieces laid out and I'm gonna do a pretty cool time lapse with you guys, depending on how long it actually takes me to do it. But you'll see as I put every single piece together and at the very end, I'll open it up and show you how I organize it and what options are available. I think this video would be extremely long if I did it in just one video for you guys. But I just wanted to show you guys the reasons why Artie Station is gonna be my choice. They're my go-to now for anything workspace related. So go ahead and check them out. Leave a comment below as to what you think. Again, no hate on Hobby Zone. I'm just convinced that the quality of Artie Station is uh, heads and tails above theirs. Let me know what you think, and I'd appreciate if you go ahead, like, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Thanks again for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.